What is up, Puffheads? First of all, before I say anything else, I have missed y'all so much. I've missed this channel so much. I just had kind of a lot going on. Um, if you go check out my main channel, you'll see I've got an upload coming up about this commercial that I was in recently and, um, you know, having to quarantine with all of that and everything like before and after and the holidays and everything. You know, I explained it all in um, the video I just posted on there. So, you know, if you want to hear like the full story, you can go over to at Tiffany Odessa. But for now, I'll just say it was a lot. So y'all, I literally can't believe I'm actually doing this, but today I'm going to be filming my very first movie. Is it mukbang? Mukbang? I really could have done that research before I started, but you know what? I've been cooking all day. I'm done cooking right now. I'm going to uh, rewind back through time and let y'all see like the whole process, how I like made the magic come together. Because I made some tasty stuff, y'all. Y'all saw in the thumbnail, I made some fire, fire, fire food for this. So it's not like a specific theme. I don't think this is like under anybody's type of food you know like italian or like anything because like i've got oh what you got sis what's on the menu is these dan dan noodles which if you don't already please feel free to head over to my tiktok which is also at tiffany odessa i've been on there for three days and i did a duet with somebody making this dish called dan dan noodles they're the best i've made them like five times in these like three days like i like for breakfast and stuff i really 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 love them and they're so fast to make it takes like way quicker than like anything it's so fast this was a really long and really busy but really productive day y'all this is the first day i've ever gotten like so much done i recorded and like probably 60% edited video today for my main channel. I was able to film a TikTok while I was cooking and then now I've got this. So that's three birds one day. I'm super hyped about that. I didn't record as much of this process as I wanted to, cause you know, I was busy TikToking and stuff. But I'll show y'all what I got. I'll leave the links to the original recipes that I found on TikTok below so that y'all can go and check those out. The original videos are like so much better. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, no offense to my dish. I did a really good job, but like, it's like my third little dan dan noodles and i'm not even using all the right ingredients i'm the queen of substitutes so i've got substitution queen up in here and it's really tasty anyway so it works but i'm sure authentically it's way better all right y'all i'm like dumb excited because i've seen so many mukbangs like so many in my life and i've always just been like oh my gosh i just can't imagine seeing it all so without further ado my very first or mukbang correct here we go all right y'all so i've started the chicken Ooh, look at that the seasoning just let me grab the bag this is garden meatless chicken strips these are vegan of course yeah. and i have the plastic on so i'm about to go for a little longer i chop some onions up i'm about to add the little holes in So this is just the base of my Dan Dan Noodle sauce. I've got all the ingredients in here, um, like stated in the TikTok video that I have on it. The final product. I'll be honest with y'all. I just added way too much peanut butter. Way too much peanut butter. But I just added some chili peppers. Fixed it. see everybody nice and clear and everything i can't believe i'm doing this first of all i don't think i'll be able to eat all this food i'm not much of like a big old eater myself but we're gonna do the best that we can mainly the purpose of me doing this video was just to show y'all what i'll be making in my air fryer because i'm obsessed with my air fryer so these are the onion rings and fried pickles they took exactly 10 minutes in the air fryer it took five seconds to bread i breaded these when i did bread it and i breaded the last ones i made I'm excited for this. This is a homemade sauce that I made for them because last time I didn't have any sauce and it kind of sucked. So this has like barbecue sauce, um, onion and garlic powder, some paprika, relish, Old Bay. I think there's Old Bay in here. It's the bomb. I can't wait to eat that with the pickles. Right here is the finished product of the Dan Dan noodles. These came out 
I use too much peanut butter, which I like mentioned, but um, then like, you know, obviously like adding like the chili isn't gonna do anything about the creaminess of it. It's a little too creamy in my opinion. But yeah, I think these smell the bomb. I think they're gonna be the bomb. They, they do seem a little too peanut buttery to me still, but I'm really not scared of them. In fact, I think I'm gonna go grab some soy sauce because not because I'm scared of them, but because better safe than sorry. You know what, let me add some salt real quick since I'm gonna be on this way. You know, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right. Get a little scoopy scoop of like, there we go. Try to get a little scoopy scoop of everything. Some garden chicken. Should have been left on way longer than I left it on. I don't know what happened this time. Um, I hope that's not an issue. We'll find out soon. Oh, and I baked a potato because I eat baked potatoes pretty much with like every meal. They're so quick. Just pop them in the air fryer. I mean, like they're 40 minutes, but you know what I mean? Like they're quick to make. You just put them in some oil, do things. I think baked potatoes are rad. All right, well, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll start with these TikTok chicken noodles. That's pretty good, but I bought this hot sauce up here for a reason. This didn't come out as tasty as it did the first time I made it. It's definitely all right, but I cannot believe I didn't go get myself some water. I wonder how long I can last in this before I have to go back downstairs and get water. That was Himalayan pink salt, y'all. Get some kale in there. I didn't get kale last time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. I can taste a lot of ways that this could have been like kick ass. I can think of like, I don't know. This is so, this is good. This is so flavorful. Once I add all that stuff, Mm. Oh, yeah, it's like smacking me in my face. That's like literally, that went from not nearly as good as what I made last time to 10 billion times better than what, what I made ever. That's really surprising. Okay, now I'm gonna try these, uh, this is a fried pickle we starting with. First of all, I'm out of breadcrumbs, so I just crumbled up a whole sleeve of, um, saltines i tried it last time and it worked i know it worked this time because these look better hmm pickles aren't as crunchy as they were last time let's see what these onion rings look these onion rings feel tough mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah these onion rings are hitting the spot and so is the sauce The sauce tastes like it's trying so hard not to be sweet, but that it is. And I was like, all right, I'll let that compliment. Oh, it might have just been that one pickle because this pickle is like petrified. I can't, you see how it's folded like a Pringle? I can't unfold that. It's, that's a fried pickle. I'm gonna try one on one. Those taste really good. You can taste the seasoning in there. I mean, like, I guess obviously because why would they like put it in the recipe if you weren't gonna be able to taste it, duh. But it, wow. Maybe I was like being light-handed last time or something because I don't remember, I don't remember the breading. Well, I don't know, my breading last time was kind of thick. So I don't know if like that was right or wrong or like what. All right, last thing to try would be these damn damn noodles. I'm like so tired, but I'm so like rewarded by this. Like this is just making my whole life happy. You can use some salt. I gotta stop that. I be wanting to do like only raw vegan food and like low sodium weeks and stuff like that but like y'all being a vegan alone is hard enough whenever i add those other restrictions that just 
that's just not fun for me i wish like i had a little bowl so i could just dip it in um a little bowl of soy sauce okay i know what you're about to say um i'm really not the type of person who puts hot sauce on everything i've never been like that but the only reason why i'm doing it here is just because of that peanut butter i can't taste it that much anymore but it's like lingering and i feel like the vinegar in this hot sauce can help is what like my mouth is telling me because there's vinegar in the recipe if you like look at the full thing there's vinegar in here i'm just wondering if that will like help out the vinegar that's in there i'm gonna yeah because i'm not i'm not stirring this well at all so if these are things like i don't know you're probably wondering, like, why are you using chopsticks? I would have been making a mess if I was using a fork. Which, like, I'm <laughs> making a mess still. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Sometimes with the noodles, I just have a way easier time with just two sticks. Then I'm going to maneuver this whole entire fork. That'd be a normal shammy. Oh, yeah. This is supposed to be cayenne pepper in there too. I bet people be dousing their damn damn noodles in hot sauce, and I'm sitting here like, well, I don't know, I just be putting hot sauce on it. That junk looks like it was made for this junk. I don't even know where to go anymore. This is just this is food central. Everything tastes so good together too. That was my biggest fear with making all these like random dishes. I was really scared that like I'd go from eating one thing and go to the other one. I'm gonna be like disgusting, you know? I haven't even touched my baked potato. Oh, I'm cold. I feel like I've gotten enough cute content wearing this. Like a brown blanket. There we go, thank you, that feels much better. Yo, I think I'm gonna have to call it soon. I need to loosen up my belt a little bit. Like, this just got full. All right, peanut butter. I bet it's all the peanut butter made me full. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up because, like, literally, that just made me, like, sleepy now. Like, I got full and need a nappy. What the heck am I, like, eight? Y'all, before I go, I just wanna say something really quick because I just noticed this. This onion ring got a little bit burnt. I'm just gonna say, if um, anything in your air fryer ever gets burnt like that, you are not supposed to eat it. Like, apparently, like, that is, like, very... Sorry for it, I'll back you. It's, like, very carcinogenic. <sighs> this is literally ridiculous. Like, why am I falling asleep like this? Y'all, um, thanks so much for watching this. This was, like, the most fun video I've ever made in my whole life across all channels, across all platforms. I'm gonna be doing these a lot more often. I love to just show off that, um, you know, that vegans eat good too. I think it took me so long to like hop into this life because I always thought it was gonna be very crappy, but there was there was not a single crappy thing that I ate. You know, you don't have to miss out on like mukbangs and stuff like that just because you're a vegan, just the recipes and stuff. So I'm gonna link all the recipes. Holy crap, I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna link all the recipes um, in my bio everybody i can't remember the creator's names at the moment but everybody is dope whoever gave me this recipe right here and um george i think his name is chef george is the one who posted this dan dan noodle recipe i want another bite of these dan dan noodles and i can't take it like i just ugh, i bet i can make this one maybe half of this pickle Aww. I can go take a nap. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my TikTok or like at least go check it out, I would go check it out. It's kind of blown up, in my opinion. It's blown up in the past like three days. I know some people can call it blow up, but I think 4.5 thousand views. And it is counting like 100 um 100 followers in three days, just from strictly from my content. Not I don't know any of those people. You know, that's not true because I have a couple of friends now, but I've got only like four or five people. Who follow my tiktok who like actually know me 
I'm not trying to brag or anything. I, I am trying to brag because I'm really, really, really proud of that. Like, that wasn't by anything random that happened. That was just by me um, learning what to do with TikTok and stuff. And I think I'm super funny naturally. And I think that TikTok is the best place to put, like, tiny little quippy little quirkies that everybody's going to, like, vibe and relate to. So go check out my TikTok if you haven't already. It's at Tiffany Odessa. Go check out my main channel. If you don't check out my main channel, I'm like, I don't know what you're doing. Go check out my video about the commercial that I did that took up all my time, but was amazing. I got paid super well. It was a professional commercial. It's, I don't know like where it even is. I don't know where it's playing. I really hope that like y'all have seen it or something like that. Like, I don't think it's like all over or anything like that, but like if I have any friends on here watching, I hope like you've been scrolling on Snapchat and you saw it. I've ran across it a couple times, just like authentically. So my own, my own business and then like my face is right there on the screen. That's been surreal, but. Yeah, y'all go check that stuff out, and I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm not even, I was supposed to edit immediately after this. I'm gonna take a nap. Peace out, fam. Thanks so much for getting full with me, and stay tuned for another video. Peace out. Bye.